The Tongues of Toil by William Francis Bernard Read for LibriVox.org by Stephen Collins Do you hear the call from a hundred lands, lords of a dying name? We are the men of sinewed hands whom the earth and the seas acclaim. We are the hordes that made you lords and gathered your gear and spoil, and we speak with a word that should be heard, hark to the tongues of toil. The power of your hands it falls at last, the strength of your rule is o'er, where the might of a million slaves is massed to shouts of a million more. We rise, we rise, neath the western skies, in the dawns of the east afar, and our myriads swarm in the southern lands warm, and under a northern star. We take no thought of the fears you feel, and the rage you hold at heart, nor of all your strength of gold and steel enthroned at the gates of Mart. We have no care for the deeds you dare, for the force your armies hurled, you stand but few, and we challenge you, strong men of all the world. We served as your fools when time was young, and long, long we forbore, glad of the niggard boons you flung, the least of your ample store. But the gnawing pain of a starving brain is great as the belly need. We have learned at last from a hungry past the joys of a rebel deed. We come, we come, with a force of fate, we are not weak, but strong. We parley not, and we cannot wait, we march with a freeman's song. We claim for me what a life we can need, that lives as a life should live, not less, not more, from the plenteous store from which freeborn labors give. We shall shape a world as a world should be, with room enough for all. We will rear a race of wise and free, and not of the great and small. And the heart and the mind of humankind shall drink to the dregs of good, forgetting the tears of a darker years and the curse of Bauman's blood. In vain you soften the voice of greed, in vain you speak us fair. The time is late, we hark, nor heed, in gladness still we dare. Yield, then yield, to the force we wield, to the masses of our might. We are countless strong, the throat of wrong, the warriors of the right. Yes, we are the captains of the earth and warders of the sea of a race new-born in nobler birth, the mighty and the free. We clasp all hands to the farthest lands, we swear by our mother's soil, to take the meed who have done the deed, hark to the tongues of toil. End of poem.